Right then, good morning folks. We are inside the passenger cabin of the car here today. I don't can't see crap because it's the darkest day I think. But what we have here, and I hope you can see it, and get a bit of extra light on the subject here. Oh, I guess not. Hmm, okay. Well, this is our charger timer. And it's installed here just behind the gear shift. And uh, in the center in the center console. And what this guy does is it's a basic 12 volt off the shelf programmable timer. And um, it's also got up there on the top a manual button which you can actually control it that way just by pushing that. <coughs> it's got 17 programs that you can specify time on and time off. Now it's got a single pole normally open contact that activates when the timer engages and opens when the timer disengages. So that is what controls the charger. Um, and uh, this is a handy feature because it allows the battery heaters to be on for a period of time before either the main charger or the accessory charger engage. So we're plugged into a 32 amp uh, to 40 volt supply here. So the, the charger is now basically idling. Uh, it's just going to stay that way until it gets a command from this timer to engage. And I've just driven about uh, Oh, I'm not quite sure, but it's dri I've driven down just uh, just under half a, a uh, just under half a charge. So if we go up to the BMV, that will tell us what we need to know. 157.9 volts. We're at 57.7 percent SOC and 27 amp hours consumed. So we can go back to the current. And I'm going to go back to the timer. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to engage the manual control. So you press this, turn turns the timer off. This puts it on auto. Press that, puts it on manual. So we're now in manual mode. And if we go in here, we see that we are charging and we're in the constant current phase and our heatsink temperature is, say, is now 18 centigrade and when it gets to 20 the cooling fans and the cooling pump will kick in so let's wait for that to happen and I'll give you guys the dime tour as they say take too long the ambient air temperature today is quite high there it goes cooling pumps kicked in I finally got a cap to fit the uh, fill bottle and uh, what else have we done well I did have a bit of a problem with uh, the inrush so what I decided to do was to take the easy option. That's why I just went ahead and fitted two more of the um, NTC anti-inrush devices onto the neutral side. And uh, the main power comes in here into our 32 amp type C or CBO. And uh, that hasn't tripped and neither has the type B that's in the building here. So this is our charger now and we're over here and we're in the we're in the constant current phase. Probably stay in there for maybe 10 minutes 15 before it goes over to constant voltage as the charge current is actually well above uh, 0.5 C for this particular battery our cooling pump and tank. I don't know if you can see that too well but I've moved the accessory battery up here back to where the old uh, 
starting battery had been on the car and I had to do that because of the uh, size constraints down the front here which you probably can't see either. Gotta love this camera. Um, so yeah that's it, we're on charge and uh, we're running well. Um, been in the car now about 10 days. Hasn't had any problems. A few small small issues there just to do with the inrush and uh, just getting the charger programmed properly. Well, all that's done now. Uh, there's a few more bits to do regarding uh, mode 3, comms, that kind of thing, get the actual hardware installed in the car, get it cabled up here so we can check the PWM duty. Oh yeah, in there, I don't know if you can see it, but it is a solid state Ooh. relay in there that controls the cooling fans and the power supply to the cooling pump. And that's driven straight from the Arduino control board here. That's quite a handy setup. Okay, so we're back inside the car here now. And as we can see, we're still in the constant current phase. 37 to 38 amps at this point of charging current uh, 161.7 volts and as you can see we're putting energy back in quite quickly and uh, this is a very good charger indeed It's just the last shot of the charger now with the actual cover on it. Um, it's quite a compact box. Turned out quite well. Okay folks, I think that'll be it for 2011. So uh, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to you all.